Watch Peter Warwick and Tommy describe these moves 11 Jaguars miss. Well, reminiscent of Gale Sayers as you watch him back out right there, take a step backward, avoid about eight, nine. Actually, all 11 Jags on his way to this score. This is the thing that made him the player he was at Florida State. 82 yard touchdown. First ever punt return he's ever given up by Jags, which hasn't been around that long. But he giveth, he taketh away. The very next punt by the Jags, Warwick, it's going to be a punt. Well, well, followed by that great punt return. He fumbles the ball. The Jags get it down inside the red zone. And that would lead to Fred Taylor. Nine straight 100-yard games for him. There's five of them, 14-7 Jags. Jags attempting a 28-yard field goal, Mike Hollis. But whoop! Oh, this was fun for the kickers on this day, wasn't it? No good. And that allows, to the chagrin of Tom Coughlin, a minute and a half to go. Scott Mitchell's going to tie the game for the Bengals. No, he's going to run it. you got to be kidding. Look at him go. It's a touchdown. Bring out the steamroller again, and we're tied at 14 all. Ensuing kickoff, Chiron Stitt. It's a fumble. The Bengals have it. That sets up. Neil Rackers. Oh my God! The Bengals have scored twice in the last minute and a half in your hometown, Tom. And the Bengals have beaten the Jaguars 17 14. Danny Farmer had some big catches down the stretch. We're still marveling in that play by Warren. Though. Yeah, I think that every now and then we see the potential that this team has with Corey Dillon, with Peter Warwick. Let's see if they can keep this team together going into next season and add a few elements. So the Bengals beat 